The closed beta test for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis has come to an end and in today's video I'm just going to give a review and impressions about what I enjoyed, what I may not have enjoyed about the last week playing in this closed beta test. So let's just get straight off. First thing I want to go over first and foremost is the game itself. It is absolutely beautiful and visually stunning whether that is the story or in the combat just overall it is beautiful to play and enjoy along with that is the music there's brand new tracks in this game which is really cool so when you do play this game on the official release I highly suggest that you play with the volume up because listening to the music in this game just makes it so much better now the presentation of the game is awesome, I really liked it. It's got that chibi form from the OG style game with amazing pre-rendered backgrounds for each zone or mission that you go into, which also is just beautiful. And of course, it kicks it up a notch when you go into the battle style side of the game and it, you know, it, it shows off that amazing Final Fantasy VII graphic style first real topic we'll talk about is the gacha system. This is a gacha style game and I've had a lot of experience with gacha games over the past probably I would say about seven eight years and I will say for a day one game the pity system in this game is fantastic. I'm just happy there is some form of a pity in this game. So you're not going to be you know saving up your jewels, spending everything at once and may not get what you want. You will have a featured weapon that you may want to go for on a featured banner and you will get it in a max of six draws. Definitely can be earlier but there is a pity system to get it with the stamp system in only six draws. Not only that is we also have draw tickets. Now draw tickets as well, same thing they are free just like Opera Omnia you get them through missions zones find them in the open chests um, yeah I think this is another great way and a great way to keep pulling for your weapons you may want you've also got character specific draw tickets as you level them up or complete missions with them so just another little extra bonus there don't get me wrong, it's very much a gacha game of course, which content wise, it'll get harder as you progress further in the story, unlocking harder missions, so the draw system you definitely want to do add to increase your character's power level. Now we'll go over the story. Now we're going to go over the complete Final Fantasy 7 universe in this game, which I think is absolutely fantastic. We're going through in this beta so far, but we know what else is coming. We've gone through the original Final Fantasy game, a bit of Crisis Core, and also the um, original story, First Soldier. More that will be coming out in the future in this game is going to be like Dirge of Cerebus, Advent Children, and Before Crisis, which I have never played before. But to see those games in this form and style of game, I cannot wait to see what the future holds. Speaking of the original story in this game, Final Fantasy The First Soldier, um, it was fantastic to get a brand new story on top of that and, you know, follow the story of Glenn, Matt and Lucia, so I cannot wait for the official release so I can see more of them. Now of course with the story, it's not a, I say, one by one basis, it won't have every single part or every single element in the game as you play there is time skips through the story so say like we could be we land on the flowers meet Aerith and we fight Reno now after that you normally go running through the slums to get back to Aerith's house but of course we don't see any of that in the game we just go straight to her house basically in the next stage so that is one thing that will be um, that I had to mention in this because I don't know how much will be cut but it still gives you enough that you still know the story and you still see a lot of it that you still enjoy it. Next up we will talk about the battle system. Now the battle system in this game consists of a team of three units. 
any units you have unlocked through story progress or whatnot, you can use. Um, there is also a manual and auto feature in this game. So if you're like me, I really enjoy the auto side to this as well. Where you may be farming something, you can kick back and let the AI do all the work for you. Now maybe for boss fights, you may want to swap it to manual, but that's entirely up to you. Um, and in saying that, you can swap between the three units in your team, so you can control your favorite units in this game. So one for me, for example, I cannot wait to unlock Vincent, because he is my favorite Final Fantasy VII character, and yeah, I will build the bee's knees out of him. There's also a offense and defense system in this game. So when you are on your offense um, stance, you will your damage output will be 10 times fold, like 10 times higher. You're basically doing a lot more damage, but you are also receiving a lot more damage. Now, the defense stance, um, you basically get reduced damage in physical and magic attack, but you also receive more healing. So this may be a good part and come into play when you are doing those boss fights to swap to the defense system prepare for their big attacks so you take less damage and you can heal with your cure or curaga moves i will highlight one thing about the battle system that i did not really or thoroughly enjoy and that is if you take too long in a battle you may be facing something hard there is a time limit feature now this time limit if you reach zero on it you fail this um, stage automatically so it's kind of in a rush system for the game which I'm not a big fan of I would rather kick back enjoy if I defeat a boss but it takes me quite a while I have no worries about that but the fact that there is some sort of time limit thing means you really do have to try and increase your power level for your team just to get past that time limit stage now in saying that, in the beta, I didn't really hit the time limit that often, but it's still enough that you could see it's kind of annoying in that side of the game. Next part is the leveling system or growth system in this game. Of course, not only does this game consist of leveling up your characters straight, as you can see, they'll be level 90 at max, but there's also character streams which is like a board for each character and you can unlock specific stats to increase on that character as you get more memory crystals for them so you can upgrade like HP attack magic attack and also healing and along with that you can also upgrade your limit breaks or unlock brand new limit breaks ones that we all know and love from the Final Fantasy 7 universe. Not only that, a big chunk to level up your characters or increase your power level is going to be the weapons and materia system. Weapons, you level up just like characters, but then you also uncap their levels, you can increase their rarity and you can also overboost them by getting dupes or by getting blue blueprints slash parts for them that just increases the stats of them increases the damage of the skills that you use in battle so yeah that is the weapon side materia is basically the same you can synthesize brand new materia that you may not have and use it in battle not only that you level it up and it gains more stats on it as well so you gotta pick and choose what materia, what weapons you want for each fight. In saying that, we will be using a lot of weapons. You can use up to three materia, but weapons for each character, you're basically going to be equipping five different weapons. You've got two main weapons, which both skills on that weapon will show up in your ATB gauge in the battle system, but then you also have three sub-weapon slots where you can equip other weapons just for 50% of their stats to make your characters of course a lot stronger. Now last but not least is the multiplayer aspect of the game. Now I spent a bit of time in the beta in this. When you can play it, I did play it. But yeah, it is super fun and super rewarding. 
the amount of XP you can get for the character you use in multiplayer is, well, it's just a ton. This is definitely an easy way to level up maybe the character you want to focus on. Not only that though, the items slash materials you get as drops also are way more increased than you would ever see in other stages or missions in the game through the solo content. So I really enjoyed that aspect. Now I will say on one part, in the beta test we could only do it three times a day for an hour each time at specific times, but I'm pretty sure they said that this was for the beta only. I'm not too sure going ahead or going forward when the game is officially released, if it's going to have more hours or longer hours during the day, or if it even will be up for 24 hours a day. We do not know that yet. But that is something to look forward to is the multiplayer side, so you can jam along with your friends and show off your best characters in the game. So my overall impressions of Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis closed beta test is I thoroughly enjoyed it. I enjoyed a lot of aspects of the game going from the battle system to the story to the draw system or the gacha system also the leveling system everything about it and we'll go over again the game is visually stunning and absolutely beautiful I enjoyed everything about it and I cannot wait for an official release date so I can continue playing the OG story and more of the first soldier story I want to dive into this original story see what happens with Glenn, Matt and Lucia Along with Advent Children and Dirge of Cerebus before Crisis, I'm excited to see those forms in this game. Now, if you enjoyed this video, hit a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. We're getting close to 1k subscribers now. And yeah, if you guys played in the beta or if you didn't, let me know how you thought about the game or what you thought about the game down in the comments below. And yeah, wherever you are guys day or night. You guys have a good one and we'll see you in the next video.